All right, guys, we're going to do a quick video on the mods I am currently running at this point in time in the game. I started a new profile, so I was just losing interest after a couple million dollars, so I just started a new profile. Any hoosers, if we click on edit here, it's going to show you the slew of mods that I either have or am running. <clears throat> Starting at first, I had a truck, uh, the Ural, I'm just going to say that. The URAL 1.4.1. Um, this is basically like a uh, like a wood truck, um, big old tires, low amount of horsepower, high amount of torque. Um, I have the trailer mod pack uh, version 2.0, the carbon fiber Volvo interior. I had that for a little while, and then I saw another one. I'm going to show you, and it's uh, really really sweet. The Kenworth W900 ARC. I was using that for the longest time. I no longer use that anymore. Uh, new engines for all trucks. That's something that I don't want to run. Okay, I'm gonna uncheck that. New Volvo Dash is the actual legitimate Volvo dashboard. I bought that, or not bought that, I downloaded that as well. Yeah, the, all the pro mods. I also use Real Economy. So all the prices are about where they should be in real life. So instead of paying like 250 grand for a truck, you're spending between 40 and 50 for your basic truck, and then you obviously add it on to whatever you want. <clears throat> you have the Volvo FH16 in real color display. That's orange for that heads-up display. Uh, then you have the red lighting, which I haven't, actually haven't seen that yet. And then I'm still running the FOV mod, the field of view up to 90%, so you can see out the window a lot better. The uh, Kenworth Cummins, I still use that on my other profile. And then this is the new Pro mod fix I have yet to enable that now so we're gonna go ahead and click apply and I want to show you guys what I am running currently and I'm gonna quickly save this after I'm done too just to make sure everything's okay once we're done here so I don't want to lose anything okay so for example here let's see here what can I show you guys right off the bat oh yes the interior for the Volvo let me grab my controller here because they're gonna play with my controller. Oh, it's daytime, that's no fun. But as you guys can see, the dash is in fact different. You have the orange heads up display instead of white. You have the red, um, you know, like buttons instead of the white. Evidently, these are exactly what the Volvo's uh, cabs actually look like. The, <clears throat> the actual gauges are changed. The text is a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to read, which I really like. Also, if I can position my guy the proper way here, you can see a lot more out the window as well, and that's where the FOV mod comes in. So I really like that aspect of it as well. Um, let's see here real quick. I want to show you the URAL truck, but I might not have a dealer for it. It may be... Is it a Volvo? Not buy online. Damn, I'm actually going to have to travel there, I think. Nope, I can't show you guys that mod right now. Actually, I probably could on the other, another profile here. So let's see what else we got going on. Oh yes, let's see if I can show you the cheaper, how the how the uh, mod makes the, the trucks cheaper. Let's go through that real quick. I don't think I was picking a load. If I was, oh well. All right, let's go through Volvo right now. I'll show you how much cheaper the truck it. The trucks are actually right around this price in real life. So. This basic FH16 right here used to be ninety-four, ninety-five thousand dollars, or you know, quid to buy. Now it's down to forty-three. So if you go to like the big boy trucks, which would be not so much that one. It was roughly like right around here. You start to get pretty expensive. Like this was close to two hundred thousand quid truck, and like this one was a lot more too. You know, all of them are less than about a hundred thousand, which is kind of nice makes it a little bit more realistic so I, I'm definitely in favor of that I didn't like spending you know a large amount of money another thing about the real economy mod is is that all the fines that were on this game were so overpriced 444 quid for a speeding ticket you can kiss my ass here in America we pay between like a hundred and two hundred dollars depending upon how fast you're actually going in this game I go quite fast so probably should be paying the 440 but hey the mod says i pay 119 and change um another thing that got changed is the stop side uh, if you run a stoplight or a stop or yeah just a stoplight actually not a stop sign sorry um i think it's like 85 to 95 quid bucks pounds whatever you want to call it and then hitting a car i think it's 140 to 160 yeah. 
give or take. I haven't uh, over, you know, not slept yet, so I don't know the exact find for that yet either. Um, let's see if I miss any other mods I can describe for you guys here. <sighs> da, 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 da. The new, the new engines mod. It does add engines. Actually, I didn't have a problem with that mod. So I want to go ahead and apply that, but that adds more engines to the uh, the truck, so you have more expandability. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything else here. That's going rather slow. Let's speed it up a bit. Nope, that's looking just about it. I'm going to do these every now and again, these videos, just to show you what, what the current mods I am running. So uh, be ready. I'm going to probably do these maybe maybe like once every other week because I don't change my mods that easily, or that easily, that quickly, I should say. But this is my new profile. This is the profile that I'll be streaming on Twitch now. Um, I, I don't want to do my other profile anymore. Once you get $12, $13 million like I currently have now, I, the game is basically beat. If I do one more load, I'm going to level up to a 38 or a 39 or something like that. I'm going to have all my bars full so I can't level up anymore, like level up you know, skills anymore. So it's kind of useless. So I'm going to be doing this one now. So uh, if you guys have my Twitch account, KingKB82 is my Twitch. You guys should come by and check me out some days. But other than that, this is it. If you have any questions or concerns or want me to go over in-depth uh, something else that I didn't go in-depth enough for you, uh, shoot me a comment. Other than that, take care, guys.